Hello to everybody. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you all. Hoping you can see it on your screen. Uh, we are really excited about sharing with you some of the ways that we have been using Wakelet to support educators as well as students. Um, my sister is going to share how she uses Wakelet as a school counselor. I will share how I use Wakelet as an instructional coach and a tech mentor. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Just double check in to make sure. Okay, good. All right, so let's get started. Let's start with some intros. We're going to come back to the sticker in just a second. My sister and I are very proud of that sticker. But first, let's start uh, with my sister. All right, I kind of lost myself. Oh, there I am. Okay. Hello, everybody. <laughs> uh, this is a super surreal for me, and I am. Um, it's crazy seeing people from all over the world that are joining in. So I'm super honored to be here. I'm glad you're here. My name is Diane Wilson. I am a sixth grade counselor in Aldine ISD. We have some Aldine ISD people in the chat. Um, it's in Texas. I work in Humble at Teague Middle School. Um, I am also a Texas On Course um, Fellow, which is about college and career readiness. I also do the, I'm a Flipgrid educator. I'm working on Google. Um, I am on the TASCA and TCA board in Texas. That's the Texas School Counseling Association and the Texas Counseling Association board member. Um, and I am also a Wakelet ambassador and a community leader for Wakelet. And I've just applied to be a Wakelet school. My team doesn't know yet, but they're finding out right now. Um, <laughs> I'm super excited. And a little fun fact, I love to camp. We try to hit all the state parks in Texas. We're trying our best. And in February, we're going to go hike the highest peak in Texas at Guadalupe State Park. So I love camping. I'm a mother to two beautiful children and I'm married to an amazing man. Um, and this, if you didn't know, this one right here below me is my twin sister. So I'm, I'm anyway, above you on me my screen. Up here. <laughs> and someone had asked if we could enlarge those, um, those pictures. This is a digital business card that we created in Buncee, another one of our favorite tools. Um, I don't think that if I, yeah, it's not going to enlarge it in a way that makes it easier to see, but you'll get it, um, a link to this wakelet, so you have this to reference later. Uh, my name is Amy Storr, and I am an instructional coach in Montgomery, Texas. It's about an hour north of Houston. I'm also the lead tech integration mentor for my district, Montgomery ISD. I work at the best elementary school in Texas, Keenan Elementary School. That is my email and my Twitter handle. Please follow myself and my sister on Twitter. We're very active on Twitter. Uh, some fun facts about me. I'm an ambassador for a, a few companies that I love, including, of course, Wakelet, Buncee, Flipgrid, and Flocabulary, four that I truly love as an educator. I'm also in my second year as an MIEE, Microsoft Innovative Educator Expert. I'm also a Skype master teacher. We're now called uh, global learning mentors. I'm a huge fan of Microsoft and Skype and all that stuff that comes with Microsoft. Uh, back to our sticker. So um, my twin sister, um, actually, I'm, I think I'm gonna let Diane kind of tell the story. Back whenever remote learning started, Diane um, kind of came to some realizations. You want to share your, what you went through, Diane? When COVID happened? Yeah. Okay, so I was in Florida on vacation for spring break and then COVID happened and um, myself and the team I was on kept bouncing off the ideas off each other and what to do. And I went to my, uh, my twin sister, Amy, and I asked her, what can I do to push out information to our community, to our staff, to the parents, to the kids? And she was like, Wakelet, like that's the quickest way to get stuff out. And she has been trying, she tried forever before COVID happened to tell me this tool is like amazing. I kept saying, no, uh, I can't have anything else on my plate. Um, we have a lot going on as counselors. And so, so she had been kind of embedding that in me for months before this happened. So when it happened, it, this is just a very easy transition. And we started pushing out everything through Wakelet. We made it like our live newsletter, everything we, the district pushed out, we pushed out inside of our Wakelet, which, which we'll show you later. And it just kind of took off in our district. Um, and so till this day, even, even like we're back on campus, we still use Wakelet for, for everything, for guidance lessons, for self-care, for um, discussion boards, you name it, which I'll show you, we use it for everything. So it has been a godsend. It has changed my profession um, tremendously. And so with that said, with this taking off, me and my sister started collabing together at conferences and presenting. 
you know, I'm the counselor, she is the tech side. So we just kind of joined forces and became the tech care twins. And um, this is where the logo came from. So one of my former students, her name's Naomi. She's an amazing artist. She, I think she's a senior this year in high school. She created this for us. And um, I couldn't be more proud, but this is a pig. This is, this is supposed to be me and my sister, the tech care twin. <laughs> And Diane, she talks about, and she didn't mention this, um, but she talks about how uh, she was really forced to get uncomfortable when mm -hmm. spring remote learning happened and really had to embrace technology, stay connected to her students and families. And so since then, we've come together um, to work alongside schools and districts and region centers to show how you can leverage technology to support your guidance lessons and your counseling groups and all that good stuff. So reach out if you ever uh, have a need. We are here for you. All right, so the flow of this is going to be, I'm going to share my examples with you from a tech coach and as an instructional coach, and then my sister's going to share her fabulous ways that she has done this as a school counselor, um, just ways that you can use Wakelet to support your teachers and your families. Um, so I'm going to start first, and my first example is how to use Wakelet for virtual professional learning. So when the summer rolled around, we knew that as instructional coaches, we could not have face-to-face -face professional learning this past summer, but we still wanted to um, give our teachers experiences to go through during the summer to earn credit hours and to also continue to grow. And so, of course, my first thought was we need to use Wakelet to put this all together. Sorry. Let me open this. Our buses are running late today. We're still at school. Okay, so we designed this Wakelet, and it's an elementary and secondary Wakelet, or elementary and secondary professional learning Wakelets, and they're all housed here. We put it on our district website, <laughs> and then if you click on, <laughs> all right, if you click on elementary, it's going to take you to the elementary listings, and so what we did is we listed, we curated and found a ton of webinars, uh, Wakelet webinars, Flipgrid, webinars related to curriculum like language arts, math, science, social studies. Some of it was made by us. Some of it we reached out to companies for. Some we found online. And then we just gave teachers instructions. Uh, Wake, one of the great things about Wakelet, and we're not really going to get into a demo today, but I'm telling you, Wakelet is one of the most user-friendly tools out there. All the different things you can add to Wakelet are just exceptional. And one of them is, is you can build and create Flipgrid screencast within your Wakelet directly there, which is what I did here. And so it's a real quick video for the teachers to watch, to know what to do here, gives them a few more instructions. And then there are the session listings. So we have a place for them to sign up. There's the webinar recording. And then they can click on this to get us to go to a survey, which was a Microsoft form for credit. And you can see all of these are hyperlinked to go somewhere. Another thing you can do within Wakelet. So we built this and it was a huge hit. We had over 500 um, sessions taken just this summer alone by educators. And so it shows the power of providing our teachers with other ways to get PD besides face-to-face, -face, you know, ways to protect their time and honor their time. And we have since kept this open because our teachers loved it so much. The Wakelet is the perfect thing to use, the perfect vehicle um, to drive professional learning. Uh, we love it and we will continue to use it for that purpose. All right, let me go back here. Uh, another way, we're using Wakelet right now to give present a presentation. It, it really is the only tool I've been using lately to build presentation presentations on. Um, and so I'm able to build what I need to share with attendees and everything I need is in one place. Um, I'm able to add really nice graphics, links, pictures, um, all kinds of stuff, videos, like I said earlier, but it's everything I need to provide uh, my attendees with. And so I love to use this to build to build my presentations. It's the perfect tool for that. Uh, newsletters. We love using Wakelet for newsletters. So here on my campus, uh, principal, assistant principal, counselor, and librarian all collaborate together on one Wakelet. That's right. You can collaborate on one Wakelet together in real time. Like this morning, my sister and I were working on this particular Wakelet 
and I could see her picture up here on the top right. So I knew she was in there um, adding some stuff and, and changing some, some things up. But all you do um, to do that is you just click this invite button and you can invite contributors. And when you share this link with them and they get it, they're able to then add and edit this wakelet. Um, you can also, let me show you this real quick. When you're in edit mode, like Diane this morning said, Amy, I can't delete something. Well, there was one thing I had to turn on so she could do that. So once I invite her, if you go to this little gear right here, you want to turn on this button that says contributors editing items, and that allows them to edit and delete everything inside the collection. So make sure that's turned on if you want them to have access to everything in there. And so my, uh, my principal, let me say this. Uh, my leadership team and myself, we all work on the same wakelet every single month. And we do something like this. Uh, we're gonna share where we made these graphics later, um, but we love to use Canva. Canva is our favorite website, myself and my sisters, to build really cool animated graphics to add directly to Wakelet. But this is just an example of a newsletter. So it has important dates, um, I do something on my campus called Copier PD. It's a, a sign that hangs next to our copy machines. It's just a quick bite PD for my teachers each month. So I added that in there as well. Uh, Ms. Kirby, my principal added something, our AP, and, and it's just the same. It goes on like that. We all add our different pieces, share it with our teachers, and we do that once a month. We found that sharing once a month versus once a week was uh, more manageable, not only for us, but it's uh, for teachers too. Once a week seems like a lot, right? <laughs> and then I added Erin Flanagan here. She's fantastic. Like you have to find her on Wakelet and follow her. And she has the coolest newsletter templates ready-made for you to take and copy and make your own. So when you click on that link, and once again, we're gonna share this Wakelet with you so you have access to everything I'm talking about. But if you click on monthly newsletter templates, you're able to see all these really pretty cool templates that she's made that you can click on and then click the copy button and it's yours while also giving her credit. So I wanted to share her. She is the reason why we started using Wakelet for newsletters. She inspired that for us. Um, another way that I use Wakelet, or just recently started using this um, with Wakelet, as an instructional coach and tech coach is to provide my teachers with something called tech in 10 minutes or less. And the reason why it's called tech in 10 minutes or less is because the Flipgrid shorts camera, which is a wakelet feature, only allows you to record for 10 minutes or less. And so we have started to add videos here for teachers to come back and find um, at a time that is convenient for them. And they're real quick bites, like three minutes, two minutes. And so if you're looking for a way to archive and curate quick videos for teachers, Wakelet is the perfect way to do that. And then another way, um, same thing, I just designed this uh, yesterday. Um, this is bite size PD, take a bite at professional learning. It's so cheesy, but I love it. Um, and it's the same concept. It's bite size PD here for teachers to access um, at a time that is convenient for them. And then um, getting into my sister will come next. I'm actually going to just check the chat real quick to see if there's any questions. Doesn't look like it. So I'm gonna let my sister go. Those are just a few ways that you can use Wakelet. If you are someone like myself, who is an instructional coach, a leader, a tech coach, you name it. Those are ways that you can leverage this wonderful tool to support your um, teachers, um, which then supports your students and your family. So now I'm gonna pass it on to my wonderful sister, Diane. All right, hey again. So we're gonna run through some examples that we use on our campus um, with Wakelet and how we push out information to our students, to our parents, to our staff. Um, but I wanna, I wanna preface this by saying, there's this quote that I have absolutely loved lately. And it uh, talks about um, leaning into the discomfort and I don't, like my sister said, I don't think I would be where I'm at today if I didn't choose to get uncomfortable and kind of break the barrier and get outside the box and 
and learn from my mistakes and grow from them. I wouldn't be growing as a counselor. So I do hope there are counselors in this group right now. If not, anybody can take what we're doing within our counseling department and bring it to your campus. Um, but the first one, this is, a, I think this is one of the second ones we created. It was a tea counseling corner. Um, and so every, every week we put, there's a different thing for each day. So there's mindfulness Monday, there's um, Tuesday tips from your counselors. There's what's the word Wednesday thought for Thursdays, which um, our amazing Miss Kelly, she makes these amazing thoughtful Thursday videos. So those are, that day is completely hers. And Friday is all about CCR. It's about college and career readiness, virtual um, college tours. So if you just scroll down every, uh oh, I lost you. Oh, there you are. Okay, so every, <laughs> every week we add new stuff that goes to the top. We keep everything in there. We kind of archive it. So you can always go back and see there's other, there's like the calming bubble, there's check-ins. Um, you can always go back and, and watch videos again, TED Talks. Um, you can keep scrolling. And what's great about Wakelet is, uh, and I'll show you in a minute, we had, me and another counselor had collaborated for another presentation today and she was adding with me and she's like, this is like super easy. Like you just pull stuff and add it. So I love the YouTube feature. You can just search for what you want to add it. it the graphics look amazing. Um, we share this. So I see someone asking about the links. We share every, we're, we're a Twitter campus, a huge Twitter campus. Our principal, Ms. Doucette, is a big pusher on Twitter. Um, so we share everything on Twitter. Um, we also, we use um, a platform called Schoology on our campus. It's how we teach virtual, it's how we teach on campus. So all these links we post within our Schoology. So they always have access to these links. It's also on um, our website. Um, and can, the, I, can I brag on my sister real quick? This is not, this is not built in Wakelet, but it's on a Wakelet. So we're going to talk about it because it's that awesome. And if you're a counselor watching right now, this is something you should really look into. We got to my sister um, because this is like one of the best things I've seen. And I use it on my campus every single week. I pull up these videos. But Diane, you want to share about that real quick? Okay, so during uh, remote learning, we were working from home and I'm part of a bunch of groups on Facebook and Twitter and one group in particular was talking about calling rooms and there was this amazing counselor from California. I wish I knew who she was because I would love to give her credit for this. She inspired me to build this calming room for our campus and it's for our parents, our students, it's for the staff. We really share it with our district so they all have access to this calming room and we pretty much put it everywhere. It's on a lot of our wakelets. It's in our Schoology. We have Bitmoji offices. It's in our Bitmoji offices, each counselor. Um, we have it everywhere. It's also on our website. So just a lot of clickable icons. You can go to meditation. There's a lot of animal cams. There's coloring. My favorite. Yeah, there's, um, and we pick, we try to make it relevant to like our area. So a lot of Houston stuff. There's some San Diego stuff in here. There's, um, there's sounds and music. There's nature sounds, uh, the puzzles. There's a lot. So if you like, if you need a calm down room for your kids on your campus or your virtual kids, this is a great tool to have for them to go to when they need to, to disconnect and kind of center themselves and ground themselves in reality. So this is great. You can't copy it because it won't let you a lot of, like you can't copy a Google site, but you can take whatever you want from this Google site and use it as your own. Um, that's what I did. So, um, and I anyway. will say you, you can do, you could do that calming room just in as wakelet. easily on a wakelet. <laughs> oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, but that's our tea counseling corner. And this is, this is really what we push out every week, every day, every week. And I have an amazing team who's very supportive of my crazy ideas. So they are all behind me hundred percent on this. Um, this is another one we push out to our teachers. And as we all know, educators right now are, are burning out. They're stressed out. Um, we wanted to give them something that they could use to, um, to also disconnect and to, to come to a different place where they get some wellness ideas, some mindfulness, some humor, because you know humor, that pretty much solves anything for me. If I can laugh, I'm good. So we made a little Take Care Tuesday. So every Tuesday we push out this to our staff. Um, they get it through Twitter and our amazing principal, Ms. Doucette, she sends it through email, a mass email to our entire staff. So in the, in the beginning of the Take Care Tuesday, we, everything our district pushes out again, we always promote it and honor it. So we put everything in the beginning that's from our district. Um, 
a lot of free tools, self-care, um, mental health for our staff. That's from our SEL department. And then um, self-care tips. So this, the, this is from this week. And it was a very long, it's like an hour long webinar we posted. It was an amazing webinar. We do Brene Brown, uh, just some infographics, um, quotes. And then when you go to a lot of TED Talks. And then the next one is health and wellness. We do a lot of food ideas, healthy foods, uh, working out. Um, I'm big into workout challenges. So I just started pushing out what I'm trying to do at home. So these are just workout challenges you can do for the month of December, um, calming apps. And then the bottom is my favorite. I'm going to call <laughs> out Eddie B again. I <laughs> uh, keep calling him out. He's an amazing he's not comedian. Watching us. I know he's an amazing comedian on Twitter. <laughs> I think he has a YouTube channel. He has the funniest videos and I'm always pushing his videos. So um, scroll down. There's some more that this one, this is, you know, this is us right now. <laughs> the Titanic. It's just funny. Just some humor to get the teachers smiling, laughing, get their mind off of what's stressing them out. That's the main goal is to just kind of get them out of that headspace and get them somewhere else to where they're calming down their thoughts. They're laughing. They're learning new ideas about mindfulness or self-care or learning some healthy habits. So that's what this is for the Take Care Tuesday. Oh, Matthew McConaughey. I call him out too. He's <laughs> me. That's all right. And I want to, uh, I'm going to pause down here just for a second, just to answer some questions. I, I just, I had to answer a question. I think I deleted it. Yes, Wakelet is free. Free. Free, free, free. Best free tool out there. And then someone had was wondering about um, sharing. And so when you create a Wakelet and you click on the share button right here, these are all the different options that you can choose from to share out your Wakelet. Um, so QR code, uh, Microsoft, uh, Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, which Teams was just unblocked in our district this week. And so I got to play around with this yesterday and it worked beautifully. Uh, this is uh, the direct link to it. But I will say, if you work in a district that blocks uh, shortened links, this might not work. But if you just share the link at the very top, it works fine. Uh, you can embed it into a website like Google Sites or any site that you use platform that allows the embed feature. And you can even download it as a PDF. I took a felt like a college course this summer and took all my notes in Wakelet and printed that to keep in a binder mm -hmm. um, just to have handy when I go through other trainings related to that. But these are all the ways that you can share Wakelet. And then someone also was asking about um, the collaboration feature. If you want to work on the same Wakelet together at the same time, in real time, or even at different times of the day, you just create it and then click the invite button and then copy this link, or you can add them by username or email or send them the copy code, um, share that with them. And then when they click it, they're able to add themselves as a contributor. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, if you turn on that button that I showed you earlier, when you're in edit mode and you click on that little gear, it's defaulted to be off, I believe. But when you turn it on, that means like Diane, she can delete stuff that I add. She can edit stuff that I add. If that's turned off, only she can edit the things that she has added. If that's mm -hmm. And I think someone right. asked again, it's completely free. Yes. So anything that you see on here, all the little icons, the gadgets, the tools, it's free. Um, that's why I love this tool. It's, it's amazing what they offer. You don't have to pay, you know, like there's some places for newsletters and we use this for newsletters a lot. It charges you. So this yeah. does not charge you, which is yeah. great. Um, I think go down to, I'll be hit done. Hold on. I'm in edit mode. My lead counselor's in here. Do y'all want to see her? No. <laughs> <laughs> and Miss Kelly. Um, so this one is the first one we pushed out in our in our on our campus. It's the Stay Connected Wakelet. And um, so this was the newsletter. This was the live newsletter. So a lot of times if you send parents to a website, they don't want to click around to find something or to search for something. So we just made it easy. Wakelet actually makes it that easy. You go on there, you update information from your, from your, from your school, from your district. As you can see, we have, um, scroll back up, Amy. Um, all the food resources that our school pushes out, our district, that's part of our announcements. Uh, Christmas resources for families. Um, we have a Teague newsletter that um, our principal does. This is the newsletter, or it might be Ms. Russ. Um, so this is what we push out in here. So everything on top is like announcements. 
you can scroll down. This is rather long, so we won't go through all of it, but we have um, enrollment information for our schools. We have stuff for Harris County, which is our county. Um, again, we have food resources. So the parents already know, this is our, actually, these are our Bitmoji offices. The parents already know, because this link is also in our email signature line. It's on the website. It's, we have this everywhere, it's very accessible. So they go on here and they can search for anything they want. They our contact information, um, scroll down. Um, parent engagement nights, we have them once a month. We put the recordings on here for our parents to come back to and listen to. Um, go down some more. If they wanna meet their counselor, we have a virtual meeting request, which is a Google doc, and then we'll set up a meeting virtually for them. Again, our T calming room, we put this on every, every tool that we have, we put that calming room on. Um, Re-entry stuff for our campus, uh, COVID information. Um, it's a ton. So I won't go through all of it because it's a really big newsletter, but it, you, you'll have this link and you can go back and look at it. But we put everything on here. Um, our guidance lessons, that's, that's next. Okay, so this is the big one. This is what we're, uh, I'm, we're pretty proud of here. Um, it's new for our campus to push our guidance lessons virtually. Normally we do them in person, which we, we do both now. Um, but it's been difficult to do in person. So we do a lot of our, our guidance lessons virtual um, through Schoology. I'm not sure if anybody uses Schoology in this group, but I love Schoology. We push everything out through Schoology. And then when you embed a wakelet in Schoology, it places it like it, it's a live doc and you can scroll through as you're in Schoology. So it's really neat. So I'm going to run through some things that we did on our campus. I think the first one is the Stomp Out Bullying Month. Um, <clears throat> We created an entire wakelet dedicated to, to uh, preventing bullying. Um, and we used Stomp Out Bullying. The See Me campaign was one of their campaigns and we used Flipgrid for that. Um, so that's on there too. But every week was a different theme. So that's what each wakelet was titled as, was a different theme. And so every week we'd send out something and we'd also have a guidance lesson that was for every week as well. So it's, you know, you see be kind, challenge others to be kind. We put information on there. And then we'll put the guidance lesson for the week in Schoology. Um, so that's our stomp out bullying one. Um, go down. We also have suicide prevention week, which is a hashtag be the one to. And it's the same thing as the, uh, the one you just saw. So every, I think this one was every week too. I think so. No, it was a week. Might have been, oh, it was every day. So every day was a different thing. And we just took the graphics from their website, placed them on here in Spanish and in English. Um, and then we also had guidance lessons tied into this as well onto our school G. Everything always matched. There's always aligned with each other. Um, and so that should, that's it for them. Yeah, you can go back to the other one. Um, so this is the one from this week. So it's brand new. We, I, this is the first time that we pushed a guidance lesson out in this format on Wakelet, um, which I love the graphics. We get, they get to be live and beautiful. So anyway, this one was about decision-making and pursuing goals. And I wanted, I made all the students contributors. So what I did was I shared with my students in Schoology the link, and they had to click on the link to get into this Wakelet to respond to the video that they were going to watch. If you scroll down, there's a video. We're not going to play it, but it's about making decisions, how your decisions affect your future. And I wanted to show them an example. So I went in there and hit the Flipgrid icon and I created a little short video. And that's the video they get to watch. And then the students, it's not due till tomorrow. So in, in, in sixth grade fashion, they will all be turning their videos in tomorrow. But below this, you'll see the students' videos. But I'll show you another one we did where they we had a lot of submissions. But this is our guidance lesson within Wakelet which I think I'm gonna to stick to doing. I like the format, even if you do it in person. If you're only doing guidance lessons virtually, but you eventually want to do in person, a great segue into a guidance lesson is to have this tool in front of you on the screen, like a whiteboard, watching the video and having your discussions. So this is another one. This is a discussion board that we had. Um, we decided to make, uh, so I started noticing on Schoology that I allow the students to chat back and forth, to have dialogue. I think it's healthy, especially when the students are not seeing each other. They've been gone since March. We have a lot of students on our campus that are still virtual. So we thought it was very important for students to have healthy dialogue. So I was like, well, we need to start creating some norms, like some rules for our, for our group. 
So they did an amazing job at creating our norms for our discussion boards. So I said it again, I did a Flipgrid live video, an example, and I showed them how to do it. Um, go down. So this was my example, I put a be kind. So as you can see, keep scrolling, you can see, um, see, I lost my sister. Sorry. I'm all back. right, so if you scroll down, you can see all the responses from my students. These are all theirs. They put pictures, they put quotes, they put YouTube, they put titles to pictures. Um, and so we kind of all signed off virtually on a grant that these were our norms for our discussion boards. So this is another thing that we did as a guidance lesson within our, with our sixth graders. Um, and then um, as technology started becoming more prevalent in my profession as a counselor, I wanted to share with other counselors because I think it's important that um, that they know what tools are out there to help their um, their counseling, their profession, and their counseling, uh, their the group make it more successful. So this is just a tool that I used. Um, if I ever find out more tools, I just plug them into here, and I share that with um, the counselors in our district. It's just a bunch. Just if I keep find anything I find, I put on here. But it's just she's fun such a great resource. I have to brag on her again. I'm so proud of her and what she's done since March. But she is such a great resource to counselors on Twitter. Uh, my counseling team here in Montgomery, a completely different district that she does not work in. Um, all I had to say was, Diane, can you meet with my counseling team to show them how to build a Bitmoji counseling uh, office? And she built a wakelet and met with them through Zoom one afternoon and helped them with getting started. So. Um, just another, another little heart bump to my sister. <laughs> <laughs> and if anything, too, I know all this information is super overwhelming, especially if you're a counselor or even an educator. We, we all have so much already on our plate. So I know it seems overwhelming. It's a lot of information. But I, I we urge both of us urge you and in, in all of our sessions, we tell someone just find one tool, learn it, you know, really, really immerse yourself in the tool and then I, I promise you that it, make, it, it makes my job a whole lot easier with Wakelet, with Flipgrid, with the other tools that I use. My top two are Wakelet and Flipgrid. Uh, number one, I mean, they're the best. Um, okay, so this is the one we actually did this morning in a presentation. Myself and a high school counselor collaborated together last night, like last super last minute. We were started adding information to this um, Texas On course, which again is for college and career readiness. Um, you can open it, Amy. It's not much. Oh, sorry. And then we both added, and I hope you see her name on here. It should show. That's this is a fellowship team. Um, it doesn't, but it, so we both added resources in here. And so when we were presenting to counselors this morning, we read off of this, and we made the the good thing is is that we were running through it so fast. We only had about five to ten minutes to speak. We made it available in the link so that in the chat room and Zoom. But they can always go back to this and look for more information because again this is also a free tool it's a free pd tool um so anyway that's our texas on course wakelet yeah i saw that someone had mentioned about student privacy that's that's why i what, what, why i love wakelet all the different uh, ways they allow us to use their tool is when you're um and you create a wakelet you can make it pub public unlisted or private like our newsletters for our school is unlisted because that's specific to our campus mm -hmm. um private would be just between you and who you want to share it with and public of course means it's accessible anybody who finds um your your uh, profile on wakelet yeah and also too I, in regards to like if um you know on our campus the students and the parents have to sign off on if they can be recorded or if the, their picture can be taken so we also take that into context too when you know we're, when we're using Flipgrid. But a lot of times the kids, especially on my campus, the kids, they may record themselves. They're going to put an emoji over their face. You know, they're not showing their face. Um, you oh, can put a wakelet uh, inside of a wakelet for sure. Yes. We just did. So this is a wakelet inside a wakelet. So, and it looks beautiful this way. You just add the link and then it shows up like this. Yeah, um, I, I think it was I think it was Christina who had asked that. So all you do is you grab the link to the wakelet, and when you're adding it, you click the plus sign, mm -hmm. and then you just paste it here, and it puts a wakelet within a wakelet. I think it's called a wake out. <laughs> <laughs> the name for it, but yes. I mean, I don't remember what else I added. Go down.
Let's see. Um, I think you have that norms college and career. Oh, and then we have okay. um, sharing is caring. <laughs> so this is the the kind of the end of it, but this is just stuff we, we have to share with you because we use it alongside Wakelet. The app smash these together and they just work beautifully. Um, first, I gotta give a shout out to my girl Tish. Uh, this was something she shared on Twitter um, back in November. And these are all the different ways, um, oh, some of the ways, a good handful of ways, I'm sure there's more out there that you can use Wakelet in pre-K through eighth grade, high school, university staff, personal use, you name it. We had talked about earlier that we love to use Canva to make graphics. So this graphic up here at the top, this one that you see that's animated, this was created in Canva. And if you go to Canva, actually, if you click the link down here, let me get to it. If you click on this link right here, it goes specifically to Canva for education. You sign up as an educator and you get a free account. Well, there's a free account, but you get a paid account for free and you're able to create and design graphics to add to places like Wakelet. It's the only thing, well, I use it in Bunsing. Two of the things that I use to create graphics to put inside my Wakelet and the wonderful Tony Vincent just shared this graphic not too long ago on Twitter on all the dimensions that you need to know when you're building graphics in places like Canva, you can put in custom dimensions and it will fit perfectly in your header for your Wakelet. So another good tool to have in your toolbox right here. Mm -hmm. And then I, we also included these two websites, great place to go grab emojis um, or stickers to add into your Wakelet. Flaticon is one of my favorites. Um, it, it is free, but it does cost money if you want um, some of the bells and whistles. Emoji copy is absolutely free. Um, of course, you could use your emoji keyboard on your computer, and you're able to add fun um, emojis into your titles on your Wakelet and things like that. All right. I'm going to stop here just in case there's any questions or if James wants to ask anything or share anything. I was fast and furious. <laughs> uh, everyone seems to be super excited in the uh, in the chat box um a lot of wow as i can see um, showing some amazing examples there my favorite one honestly is is the, the collaborative newsletter i mean that's such a yeah. good idea um, yes. to involve everyone in the newsletter experience and then sharing that out once a month yeah. um yeah i absolutely love that so much yeah we love it too awesome um someone's asking about about canva amy in the q a box um just saying it was definitely canva that you mentioned Yes, Canva. Yeah, I'll um, pull up the site here so you can see what it looks like. But click the link that's in that wakelet because then you're able to um, get you an educator account. I think they make you prove it by like, I think, I don't know, taking a picture of your school and your website. They make you go through some steps to prove you're an educator. But then when you're there and you click create design, there's a custom size. Mm -hmm. And what I love is that they save your recents. And so I never, will never forget Wakelet's dimensions ever again, because they're always here in my recent <laughs> all the time. And then you click it and you're able to design a graphic. And once you do, a little button's gonna pop up here that allows you to animate it to make it move if that's something you're interested in. Awesome, thank you, Amy. Um, mm -hmm. There's another question there. Um, I don't know who's best to take this, but um, with the stuff you're posting out every Tuesday, are you using the same collection and updating that or are you creating a new one uh, every single week? No, we use the same collection. So we, I just, I believe that they should have access to this stuff all the time, uh, especially the self-care and health and wellness and humor. So we just add the newest on top and we just keep adding. Um, but no, it's the same Wakelet. But you could do, I mean, you could do a Wakelet, a Wakelet every Tuesday if you wanted to. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, most definitely. I mean, I know people with newsletters uh, tend to do a new one each time, but mm -hmm. um, you could literally copy it and, and build on top of it. Mm -hmm. Or again, just uh, as uh, Diane said, just just build on uh, on top of the one you already have. Yeah, uh, which is awesome. Um, I don't know if there's too many more questions, but if you have any more questions, everyone, please get them through the next kind of five or ten minutes. Um, but what I wanted to ask to Diane and Amy is, uh, as a counselor and as a an instructional coach, as a mentor. Um, what is like your one kind of tip or piece of advice for anyone that maybe is just starting out on Wakelet in, in, in your roles? Yeah, the, I'll take, I'll take uh, this first. Um, the first thing that I used Wakelet for was newsletters and I didn't, now I'm building them 
on my own from scratch, but it was Erin Flanagan. It was the lady that I shared with you earlier. I used her pre-made templates. Um, that was really the first time I dove deep into Wakelet was by doing that. I tinkered around with it before that, but because of her, I found something that inspired me. And then now I'm making them on my own. But yeah, newsletters, that's a great way as a classroom teacher, as a counselor, as a leadership um, position. That's a great way to get your feet wet in Wakelet. But I'm telling you, Wakelet is the most user-friendly tool ever. Uh, you will find, you will start searching for ways to use it. But yeah, that's a great way to start. And I, I so... I've already said this to James before we even started about how much this tool has changed my life, but <clears throat> if you're a counselor listening in or even an educator and you're, the hardest thing right now is to find those unreachable kids, um, the ones we can't connect with because of COVID that are virtual. So we hope that we're at least reaching some of them this way. That's the, that's the mindset behind this. Um, I saw a post today from uh, our superintendent, Dr. Goffney, and um, I hope I can find it. I probably can't. But she was saying like, you know, you are in control of your future. You make the decisions, you know, break the barriers, get uncomfortable, um, find your passion. I truly believe that because of Wakelet, um, my profession has changed forever. I, I don't think I can ever go back to how it was ever. I don't want to go back to how it was. I believe that this tool has made it easier for me to be a counselor. I, I told my team even said this before. This is the first year in a long time we have been able to truly be counselors in this profession and do our job. And um, I just urge you to get uncomfortable. That's the only way you're going to grow. That's the only way that I've even experienced growth. And that's because I was pushed. I was either forced to do it because of COVID <laughs> or because I had people in my life, you know, uh, Miss Kelly, Miss Rust, uh, our librarian, Miss Doucette, my, our, our superintendent, my sister, pushing me to, to get out of the box I was already in and get uncomfortable and grow. And so I just urge you to, to lean into that discomfort and, and you're just going to learn way much more about yourself than you ever knew. So. <laughs> Understand. I love that. That's a, that's a great bit of, of advice. Um, so, so thank you for that. Um, is there any more questions in the chat that you, you two can see? Um, are there any last minute questions? Please get them in. I don't think so. I did see, I'm going to give Gwendolyn a shout out about a choice board. Yes, it's the perfect thing for a choice board. I did see that, but I didn't see other questions. There was one that said, uh, I don't know if it's a question or a statement. You can't send some videos because they say the file's too large. I don't know. I've never had that happen. I'm not too sure either. It might be with Flipgrid. I mean, they do have a limit on 10 minutes. So yeah, I know you, can, you can't upload a clip to, um, to Flipgrid, but it has to be under 10 minutes, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, but no, they're, they're great bits of uh, advice. Thank you, uh, Diana and, and, and Amy. Um, and I, again, for everyone watching this, there were just a few ways that you can use Wakelet. As, as Amy said, she probably advised to use it as newsletters as a start. Uh, people in the chat saying that you can use it as choice boards and the other great ways to use it. Honestly, you can use it any way you like. We, we created a platform that allows you to uh, save and organize content into collections that you can easily share and collaborate on. How you use them is completely up to you. Uh, saying to uh, Diane before this, uh, this is the first time we've kind of shared how counselors are using Wakelet. So I've learned a lot today as well. And I've been at Wakelet for, for, for a long time. So um, there's so many cool and new innovative ways that you'll find uh, that you'll think about using Wakelet with your students, teachers, friends, uh, and colleagues as well. So uh, so you give it a try, jump in the deep end, get into your, out, of, out of your comfort zone. Um, and there's a few ideas there from Diane and Amy that you can get started on straight away. Awesome. And then if you look at the chat box, guys, there's, there's so many people saying, saying thank you and how much they look. Yes, so, thank uh, y'all for coming. Yeah, thank good you. Good morning, good evening, good night. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> exactly. But no, uh, Diane, Amy, that was absolutely wonderful. Like I said, I learned so much from that myself. Um, everyone in the chat, let us know what you thought of the session. Uh, let Diane and Amy know um, what your favorite uh, examples were, what you think you're going to use Wake Up for. Um, but honestly, Diane, Amy, thank you so much for, for joining and, and sharing your your knowledge and your wisdom and everyone else thank you so much for joining as well to learn a bit more about how you can use Wakelet as a counselor and as an instructional coach as well um but yeah look, everyone's loving it in the chat as you can see so yeah thank you so much everyone <laughs> <laughs> it's been awesome. Uh, awesome any any last words Diane Amy I think no, I said... thank you so much for joining us it's, it's almost the holidays I know we're all looking for a break and uh I know I can't wait for it um 
but yeah, like Diane said, um, be eager to get uncomfortable and you won't be sorry about that. No, yeah. 100%, yeah. And as Amy said, everyone enjoy the, the festive period and the holidays. <laughs> Honestly, teachers, you all deserve it. Um, <laughs> it's, it's been a tough year, so hopefully everyone gets the, the rest they deserve. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for taking an hour out of your day or just under to learn a bit more about Wake Club. Uh, we do appreciate it. And again, Diane, Amy, thank you so much. That was, that was a really awesome thank session. Thank you. I enjoyed Amazing. it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we'll turn off our cameras uh, and mute. Um, um, if you could stay in the chat for a good five minutes, Amy, uh, Diane, just to answer any questions. So if you have no. any more questions, get them in uh, and we'll do our best to answer them. But yeah, as I said, from myself, the Wicked team, uh, just thank you so much for joining. Hopefully we'll see you soon on future webinars as well. <laughs> awesome. Right. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you all.